Oops, just that wasn't terribly good camera work there. Sorry, guys. Oh well, we're not going to get fussed. This is not a showroom demo of kind of coming all <laughs> Silly company, <laughs> full of fuckwits. <laughs> I don't even think they have toner heads working in the Konica Minolta research labs. I think they have fucking idiots, money fucking psychopaths. How are they fucking supposed to create a good product? That's why we. Ha I think that's why we have to th press the buttons three times to get a copy to come out. Because you've got assholes in the lab. <laughs> Nothing's changed. There's been no new uh, creative functions or let alone AI, <laughs> artificial intelligence. It's just the same. They just redesign the layout. They they make the spare parts in the older machines useless for the newer machines, and they make different variations in this in the same range of machines. <laughs> fuckwits, honestly. And the CEO, he should know better, but he's a fuckwit. He's an asshole. <laughs> he loves it just for the cash, and he doesn't care that all this shit's hitting the fan when it comes to photocopier design he's a fucking asshole i mean he just takes home his money and he just fucking worships money like it's a god it's like what sort of a god is the love of money i mean come on it's awful <laughs> it's a horrible if, if there's any religion i hate it's this religion it stinks it stinks <laughs> they make stinky products and and fuck they end up polluting the the planet only 10 i don't know what the figure is now but about two or three years ago i read that the amount of electronics waste electronics that's being recycled is only like 10 percent. i don't think much has improved somehow since then so fuck me dead these people are stupid i don't know what konica minolta does to their old equipment that gets junked but i wouldn't be surprised if it was shipped off to a third world country and left to rot and cause sickness and death because of all the, all the nasty chemicals that go into this thing. Honestly, it shouldn't be like that. And these machines only last five years when it comes to spare parts availability. After that, it's just tough like it becomes a useless piece of junk. And, and what, what the fuck? These machines should last at least 10 years. That's my fucking opinion because it's easier to... Uh, re keep using it than recycling it. Recycling one of these would be a nightmare, but it has to be done because we don't want to waste resources like gold and silver. I think silver's in it, I'm not sure. Platinum and I think platinum as well. And then, of course, there are other minerals like rare earth min minerals, like metals. <sighs> There's all sorts... And, and these chemicals, many of these chemicals are dangerous in the ground when they end up in landfill. But they're absolutely useful in future products, which means that if we must recycle, we recycle. If this is going to end up a useless piece of junk five years from now, it's better to recycle it than to let it rot in landfill. <sighs> this stuff has got poison like lead and cadmium and, and mercury, and to name just a few that I can think of off the top of my head. And that's just not acceptable. Now, this is interesting. It looks mostly blue green. Actually, I quite, I'm wondering if I like it or maybe I can do more to it. But basically, we need to make our photocopiers last longer. And my vision of a an ideal photocopier, or close to ideal, is an artificially intelligent machine built mostly out of metal, including the panels, and lots of, and, and glass. And, and of course, we need glass for the touch screen. And then, of course, the plastics get used only where needed, like for the, um, you know, what, how shall I put it? Where would they be good? The, the plastics are good for wiring and, and connectors, you know, plugs and sockets and all that sort of shit, or insulation in general. But it's not suitable to be used everywhere. It's pathetic. It's really bad. The less plastics we have in this world, the better. What can I do now? I just, I just have to consume this product because I need this for my YouTube channel. You know, I need this for my YouTube channel. 
you know. I've got to let people know that this kind of wastage is not on. So now it's scan stabilizing image. So there you go, that's why it's taking a bit of time. Here it goes. It's about to start up. So it should start its print process any moment. But yeah. And and pushing the button and having to make three button pushes is an inconvenient operator problem. A problem for the operator. I don't think a lot of operators would like to have to do that. And I think the people in the offices are probably fucked to sick to fuck of this shit. I'm wondering if, I, if we can make this a different colour again. But basically, yeah, I just, I just want a cleaner, greener, fairer world. And if I can take control of the photocopier industry, if I can become a CEO of a future photocopier company after they've repaired my brain damage, and oh, we clicked on yellow, after they've repaired the brain damage I had at birth, which has caused me disability, well, if I can use technology to fix the damage done to my brain certain parts of it because basically this was done at birth i had a cord around my neck and a, and a breech birth and the oxygen was sucked out and basically i i can't do a lot of things i can't work in a normal job i can't do fuck you know i've got other parts of the brain that survived that survived the trauma i think we're going to be okay with this but i still it's just annoying that i i can't do anything useful at the moment except making fucking videos because these parts because when I use a photocopier you don't see my you don't notice my disability but if you put me in a room uh, learning stuff learning about for example photocopier operation as in how it works I wouldn't be able to remember it because my short-term memory and my hippocampus the hippocampus is the part of the brain which takes short-term memories and converts it to long-term memories. So you can imagine with these two important parts of my brain critical to learning that have been damaged, I can't do much. I can't become a CEO. But one day I will. I have faith. I have faith in, in something out there that'll make my life happy, that'll make my life productive, that'll make things work out. So my life will one day, they'll one day have technology and I look forward to that day when I can become a fully functional uh, part of society. And basically, I'd like to give most of my earnings away as CEO and to worthy causes such as cleaning up the planet, preventing po stopping poverty and preventing it. And I want to be a scientist and solve problems like, which I'll also put money towards like global warming, climate change, uh, pollution, electronics, you know, maybe mining rubbish dumps for materials, useful materials, stuff like that, stuff that's not happening now because money has become everyone's fucking deity, fucking God, and it's not my God. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I've got my own. I, I'd rather serve mankind and serve a fucking evil deity such as greed. Got to go.